Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to uh, this uh, episode four of this Let's Play Stellaris post Heimland patch. And uh, we are, of course, playing the Geico Geckos. And uh, still early game, so there's still a lot of exploration to do. Right up there. Officially, we are known as the Divine Karelian Order. Um, a. Uh, what are we? Um, tropical uh, inhabitant. Uh, tro tropical world inhabitants. Uh, sitting uh, kind of in the south center, six o'clock position in the galactic wheel here. Elliptical 1000. Uh, elliptical galaxy with a thousand stars so this hopefully will be a long term now we do have a fallen empire down here to our galactic southwest and they have a Gaia holy world here in between us so we can't mess with them in uh, mess with that and we're not going to mess with them and uh, anytime soon we have a pacifistic Anathurian hegemony down here in, in our immediate south who have already uh, made threats of war against us so uh, we'll have to see how it turns out i have no plans on fighting them at the moment although they did steal more more guard right out from under me uh, my frontier ship outpost ship was on its way to build and they stole it. so i might have to punish them for that we'll see With a very nice uh research uh and some decent metal in there as well uh, speaking of metal, uh, we uh, that's kind of what we are short on right now. I'm going to go ahead and unpause. We do have another colony ship being built. Uh, we have two colonies. Uh, we have Mublar is our secondary colony. Zulfur is our starting system with the planet Geico in it, of course. Um, we do also have uh, some pirates here, which... Um, we are working on trying to chase down. Unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have much in the way of ships, and until we get that second um, colony ship done, we can't build any more Corvettes. They're in the queue, just can't build them yet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this station started as well. Now, they outgun us at the moment. I'm hoping that with our uh, space station, maybe we'll be able to do enough damage to beat them off. Okay, I've already chewed through about a third of our uh, space station armor. getting attacked by two space stations however our mining station and our research station so that's something I don't know that our, our lasers are doing much now they're getting attacked by a third one oh, we only have the two there we have four ships okay here we go Let's see if we can add our firepower to those of the uh, space stations and do some damage to them. We've got one and a quarter damaged, and it's going down quick, although so are we. Battle of the Red Lasers. Oh, they get the first uh, casualty. We've got one of them gone. Now they're working on our second one. We've got two, one of theirs at a quarter damage. So if I can complete. destroy two of them, I'm not going to destroy two of them. I wonder if it's worth uh, retreating here. I can't retreat. Uh, oh, he's unyielding. Ah, I didn't know that. I missed that. Uh, well, we're getting them away from our mining stations anyway. 
Uh, we got a colony ship done, so we're building some new um, corvettes now at least. This colony ship is going to come down here and try to get uh, planted on Hark. Okay, probably some better options here. Energy, 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 metal, energy, energy, food. Not a lot of great spots for them. Love to be able to get that food, but I can't. I guess the best spot is probably there. Okay, in the meantime, the battle rages on. We're going to lose this fleet. Oh, another alien proto civilization encountered. Sol 3 is the home to the Malian civilization currently in an early space age. The orbital space around the planet is cluttered with primitive satellites, and the natives seem to have already launched several manned missions to Sol 3A. A number of small sublight exploration probes have been detected on outbound trajectories toward other bodies within the system. So that's the second proto civilization we found. Uh, we might get a second one killed here. Yep, we did. Okay, so it wasn't for Another nothing found. anyway. Um, an anomaly, Tyrium 4A, we briefly uh, detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. Let's go ahead and research it. Situation log and there goes our leader and leaves two ships there to uh, try station to take apart the rest attack. of the uh, station. Man, he got a big speed up, didn't he? Combat stats, um, total damage output, they did 1100 to our 800. Yeah. Um, time project and losing energy at the rate of six a turn. Wow, that's huge. Okay. Um, how's our construction of Corvettes going? First one's nearly done. We can add a third one to the queue as well. Okay, uh, so we've got a research project going on up there. We also have a uh, event chain uh, mass ex mass extinction event planet to investigate. Minus seven on energy now. Uh, now this one here finally completed its uh, growth into that one and is building into the society research area. Use them to grow into a food area, but yeah. Okay, we got first ship of a fleet done. Uh, might be able to hold out until those lasers aren't doing much to the enemy. I can get. I'd like to get three of them. A micro singularity recently intersected through Tyrium. 4A passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the moon. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Plus three to physics research. Nice. Okay, that colony will be planted here shortly. System survey complete. Okay, so now we can go back and finish the research project on that asteroid. Let's push back his borders a little bit down here. Still haven't seen any of his ships, so I still don't know what what the uh, the Antharians are packing for ship types, drive types, etc. And we have a level three anomaly there. Um, my other science ship is still busy investigating Seoul. Colony should be landing here momentarily. We have two ships. I think when I get that third one built, I'll send them off. System survey complete. 
Okay, soul is finally complete. done. Oh, research is done. <clears throat> okay, so we've got some armor now. So our first combat ship upgrade. Uh, Corvette assembly yards, mineral storage capacity, or ceramic mag. No, we're going to go with the uh, storage capacity in the Corvette assembly yards. Spaceport level 2. All wanted. Okay, so soul... Human civilization, human civilization, decent metal, not much else. Um, okay, we're still trying to get home. <laughs> Taking a real long roundabout way home, but we'll at least uh, have a nice sightseeing trip. I think I've said that already. If we can get past the amoebas and everything else. Okay, that construction ship. What else can I do with you? Okay, this is where the uh, other proto-civilization was. Oh, what's that? Ah, okay, so we found the uh, enemy, the, the pirate space station is what we found. Um, seven, six, one... I don't, and I don't mind more physical research, but probably should look at. Okay, this is. That's good a place as any. Ship is almost done. And then we will go back after the. Pirates in uh, Sheraton. Construction complete. That fleet stance is on aggressive. I don't know if they're going to make it there in time, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, so we're losing energy at eight a turn right now. Wow, it's gone going up and up and up and up. Uh, we can, yeah, we can't do anything with the ship shelter yet. Uh, it's going to be a ways before you grow into that one. Special project complete. Okay, mass extinction asteroid. This is number four. The asteroid is actually a chunk of what was once a habitable and probably inhabited planet. Regular but overlapping fracture patterns indicate that the planetary demolition was intentional and controlled, if somewhat rushed. All signs point to this planet being the homeworld of whatever species destroyed it. We may never know what drove them to consider planetary annihilation to be the lesser evil, and perhaps we should be grateful for that. Yes, I don't want to know. And then our last system for that event chain. Mm, no new habitable planets down there yet. Is our fleet going to make it in time? Oh, I'm paused. Yes! Oh no, they already destroyed one. Never mind. We still might be able to get up and save that one. It's gonna be... yeah, we should be able to save that one. Looks like uh, that station will just barely be able to hold out. No, um, we don't have a leader still. Now let's get another one. Mm, ship upkeep or speed? Mm. Equipment cost? Let's go with upkeep. 
not ideal, but that's what we have. Wow, we might not save that uh, station. It's getting awfully low, awfully quick. Come on, lasers, engage. Engage, I say. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, we saved it. <laughs> Maybe. They're still firing at it. Okay, I think we saved it. Situation alien no, we have encountered some form of alien vessels in Jibun's Maelstrom system. These strange objects have been flagged as Jibun's Maelstrom until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Ooh, investigate. That may be another um, trader type thing. Not that we have anything to trade right now. Okay, survived. Let us, okay, mass extinction desolate planet. A planet in the system still wears the fossilized traces of a post ecology on its sleeve, of a past ecology on its sleeve. What could turn a thriving biosphere into a blasted wasteland? A special project Situation has been issued. Updated. Okay, let's go ahead and repair you and then we'll go after the station and probably add. A couple more Corvettes to go along for the ride. Uh, two of them, because that's all we can afford. Um, so what do we have down here? Well, I have no idea. Uh, time project, fleet combat stats not worried about, time project, we still got plenty of time for that. There is a space amoeba down there, which we have not done the observation for yet. How's our research? Are we getting close? Three months for terraforming, okay. 41 months, 26 months. Let's go ahead straight for... Now let's investigate the uh, Pulsar first and then we'll go straight for the Baron World down there. Four! Not worried about anything. Complete. Yeah, if that gets within my territory, I will go for it, obviously. Um, two and two, nothing useful there. Hostile fleet's present. Uh, that'll be the Abibas, uh, okay, no big deal. Completed the construction of the that much. Okay, um, I guess we'll go ahead for some more energy. Uh, we have just enough metal to do that. We need more metal. Stop fleets present. Hyperspace don't matter. I'm trying to get my my ship home. Okay. Um, complete. This would be a very good system to uh, invest in. Complete. Six society, eight society, two physics, four metal, and three energy. Okay. There's our. Uh, uh, terraforming. Okay, we'll take a look and see if that helps us any. Xeno Zoo. Uh, monthly influence. Uh, Biolab. Hmm. Let's go for the influence. Go for the influence. I would really like to get the uh, metal mines too. But they don't seem to have come up as an option yet. We do have the power to. Okay, what do we have? Do we have any of the terraforming stuff? Do we have any visible? Uh, the answer to that is no. There is, of course, in the... Okay. Reason for war. We have a cache of spelling. They stole our terraforming liquids. 
by beating us to uh, Morgard by a matter of a weeks at best. Yeah, there's nothing else. No more in the system. No more in any of our systems, anyway. Now we have, we still have a couple places that we can Special explore. Okay, there we go. Life on the now barren planet was sadly doomed from the start. As if by some cruel stellar conspiracy, the dominant species on the planet barely had time to awaken to sapience and invent agriculture before, through unfortunate geolog geological mechanisms, the Earth started turning sour. Samples from the lower soil strata and the fossilized remains of the creatures that once roamed the planet show that several vital minerals needed to rejuvenate the soil ended up through their largely agricultural diet in the endoskeletons of the native beings. Their bones were prone to fossilize rather than decay, and the very existence exhausted the fragile ecosystem they inhabited, leaving it permanently transformed in the wake of their passing. Yuck. Okay, study complete. While the research expedition often yielded unexpected results, Krillian scientists now have access to unprecedented to an unprecedented wealth of data with which to accurately model the future of Geico. Initial reports that suggest that Geico will be in no real danger for at least a dozen generations, save from freak cosmic events or the violent collapse of the Divine Carillion Order. What else can we learn? Ends the chain. Through the uh, mass extinction through the ages, and the the Krillian people should be put at ease and make the planetary data public. Uh, let's put the people at ease. We are in no danger. The populace has been growing increasingly restless as news of the study slowly filtered down through the media. Now we have the chance to dispel all their doubts and fears in one fell swoop. Future faith modifier added for 120 months. 10% happiness. More AD influence, another successful operation by the Ark Prophet. Let's go for the happiness. 120 months, that's 10 years of happiness. I like that. I like that indeed. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Fleet's fully repaired. Okay, good. Let's bring you down and uh, do uh, investigate that debris while we can. Do that. Uh, these fleets are going to join up. Merge together and then go after the pirate station. Okay, off to the station we go. Split, create, fleet stance is aggressive. Okay. Uh, repairs completed. Okay. Time project, plenty of time. Negative balance. Yep, yeah, that will uh, fix itself somewhat once we get this uh, colony completed. Getting there. Probably want to build another starport too uh, up here in Muldar. Just oh, we have a, uh, a research thing in the jig there too. And this is the uh, Atomic Age beasties. So maybe once the the colony is done. Unless I plant my fourth colony, um, I might go ahead and build the observation post there. Okay, Arc Prime is done. Okay, over here we're getting close to completion. Well, no, we're still 17 <clears throat> months away. Uh, a little less than 17 months away. Ooh, encounter in Yaris. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Yaris system. Uh, Lambda aliens. Construction complete. Uh, mining station complete. Okay, got that done. We have a neutral energy now. Uh, that'll be some more society research. Ooh, combat. Uh, asteroid outpost. Oh yeah, that's 
that's the ones we went for. Uh, we wanted to kill that outpost. Uh, what about down here? Let's see what these ships look like here. Oh, it's a uh, space station. Ooh. Lots of ships, multiple space stations, mining stations, I'm sure. That's fine. We're just passing through. We're just passing through. Don't mind us. Should make short work of this uh, base, I hope. We could use some more ship components. We've got armor now. We're going to lose at least one ship here, aren't we? Uh, we are receiving transmission from the independent space station of the Curator Sigma Enclave. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Very good, I guess. Uh, first contact. Greetings, Star Travelers. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from tr descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Opinion of us is zero. Uh, wow. Wow. Intelligent, tropical preference, uh, engineering, physics, and society output, 10%. Tropical habitability, okay, that's just their habitabilities, no big deal. I thought that was a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to lose one ship. I don't know if we have enough to uh, take that out. Alien vessel updated. Uh, the Rama system. Uh, more alien vessels. I don't see them. Maybe because we're already in the Torville system. We're eventually going to make it home. See, we haven't lost a ship yet. Uh, we got halfway, shoot halfway through that pirate station. Yeah, we're going to survive this. We're going to survive. Now we're going to survive maybe without losing a ship too, it looks like. Destroyed. Gain 180 minerals and uh, 100 credits. So nice. Updated. Yeah, we can go repair now. Hey, we're almost. Oh, looky there. There's a. Uh, oh, another guy in world. Oh, hey, ah, ooh. Holy mackerel! That was a ton of shards. What's this guy world look like? We haven't investigated it, so... <coughs> That's tropical. There's the guy world. Only size 14. Oh. Sounds like... It is about time. Uh, more aliens. Plantoid? Okay, well, um, 
we got rid of the pirates. We put down another colony. Um, and that's about it. Excuse me. That does sound like uh, uh, we are making some progress. We're growing slowly. Uh, research is... I think we're getting, uh, yeah, relatively close to the mineral storage and Corvette, the physics labs. Take a quick look at our planets. Um, planet summary, uh, food produced three, consume 1.7, so a little over 1 point, uh, right at 1.3 food per turn. Getting our next pop very shortly, it looks like. Uh, well, eight months or so. Meanwhile, over here in Hark, that one obviously just started growing. It's growing right into a mineral resource, which is brilliant because we de have a desperate need of minerals. Um, it also is growing at um, uh, 1.2 per month, so not too bad there. We'll slowly get those two colonies going. We have one more colony in... Um, Liam, I think. Yeah, size 22 colony that we will also grab eventually. A uh, good amount of minerals here and actually good spots to uh, drop the uh, landing pod on. Um, right here can affect all five, uh, uh, five spots. So good spots there. Uh, we're going to slowly build up our minerals though uh, before we do another colony ship get the first two colonies started uh, we can take a quick look also uh, obviously overwhelming yeah we knew that uh, the two enclaves are pathetic with regards to us I knew that now the Anathurians to myself have a slightly higher fleet power than us which is fine we'll catch up eventually uh, everything else is the same, and we don't know about the uh, two fragmented nations yet, obviously. Nothing to worry about there. Um, oh, there's one of the new ones, Expansion Planner, so we can see what's out there. Um, we can see we don't want to mess with them. This one has uh, high gravity, so this is nice. Um, we can see a survey is colonizable. Uh, that is new. Uh, policies and edicts, that's what I was looking for. Um, so right now, unrestricted wars, um, liberation wars, defensive wars. Um, I'm not worried about that yet. Slavery, I'm not worried about slave procreation. I'm not worried about yet. Purging is allowed. Orbital bombardment limited. Native interference is unrestricted. Native enlightenment is prohibited. Now, we might want to change that because I did want, before I call it quits, um, uh, was it in the room? Maybe it was in heart. One of these has a Was it? One of these systems has a atomic age. I guess I need to go up here. Uh, go back to contacts. Uh, these guys. Mublar. Right click to go to. There we go. I think I want to bring my construction ship over here and construct an observation post. Um, it's not giving me the option. Oh, there we go. Frontier Outpost Mining Station, Research Station, Observation Post. Let's go ahead and get that, um, wait a second. Uh... The ship is already performing this order. Okay, so it's going where I want it to. 
Yeah. Okay. So get an observation post here. They are atom uh, atomic age. So we'll uh, see if we can't uh, bring them into the fold. Anyway, um, going a little bit long here. Uh, we've got some debris being analyzed. Uh, I think that's all we need to do. Um, I want to do yeah, native enlightenment migration is prohibited. Hmm, primary species only. This one? Uh, no, free migration. All of our citizens must be free to. Let's go with free migration. So if we do get these guys in our in our territory and we can find a suitable world for them. Uh, resettlement is allowed, voting or rights is no voting because we are holy. Leadership, primary species only, first contact protocol, peaceful, yes. Information quarantine, no. Encourage free thought, no. Engineering, physics, and society, okay. Um, I, again, uh, gone a little bit long. I wanted to take a look at a couple of those before I forgot. Thanks for joining everybody. Uh, this has been Cass and our playing Stellaris post Heinlein patch. I hope you're enjoying the series and I hope you will uh, continue to follow along. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, questions, anything like that, leave them below in the comments block and I will certainly answer what I can. Thanks for joining everybody. This is Castaner signing out. Thank mm -hmm. you.